in Ed's garage. Thank you so much for watching. Today I have a treat for you. I have the 2020 Hyundai Palisade in the luxury trim. Check this out, just fresh on the lot. Today I'm gonna to be driving this vehicle and showing you all the cool features about it. What a gorgeous looking vehicle though. Completely new uh, design scheme going on here with the, uh, the pass-through pass -through bumper um, daytime running lights. But yeah, this is a gorgeous car right from the very, very aggressive front grille, uh, the, the cascading grille, of course. All right, so basically we just got this on a truck today um, and it, everybody's going nuts over this vehicle. It's a beautiful, beautiful vehicle. It has a, a very, very nice, supple ride. So we're going to take you for a drive. And uh, But first, I want to show you all the cool features on this vehicle. This is the luxury trim, so we're very, very lucky to get a, a little bit of a higher trim level. So we'll start in the front. So let's look at this. Okay, so we've got this big, beautiful LED daytime running light strip. We've got LED uh, projector headlights and uh, also the uh, LED projector high beam. It actually even says in there, full LED system. This beautiful commanding grill on the front. Massive chrome grill. We've got front parking sensors as well. And this is kind of a neat little design element. So on the front forward-facing radar, I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but it's got these like radar kind of lines. Let's see if I can get a closer look. There we go, it's showing up in the camera now. So that's new, they didn't do that before. All right, let's see what else we got here. So, marker lights on the mirrors, of course. So another new design there. Beautiful 20 inch alloy wheels. Now this being the luxury, while well, you do get the 20 inch alloy wheels, they're not the same as the Ultimate. The Ultimate's a little bit different. Of course, proximity entry. All right, now this of course has Hyundai's famous smart lift gate. I'm not sure if it's enabled. <laughs> it's not enabled, now I look stupid. All right, so essentially you stand behind the vehicle for a few seconds and it opens up on its own. It has to be enabled by default, it's not enabled. So. Now, the Palisade is also Hyundai's first eight seat vehicle in a while, a long while actually. But in the back, I wanna show you a couple of really cool things here. Let's just slide that forward. So we do have underfloor storage. The vehicle comes with the privacy cover and a nice little place to hide it away, so that's good to see. And what's this here? Oh, look, there's the jack. All hidden away as well. That's pretty cool. All right, so Harman Kardon audio system. Normally, Hyundai has an Infinity audio system, so it's good to see Harman Kardon. Now, they are part of the, uh, Infinity is part of the Harman Kardon auto group, audio group, so that's probably why we were able to do that. It's quite nice. Now, check this out. So, third row, left seat, right seat. Just press the button and voila, the seat comes up all by itself. But you know what? I want to show you with all the seats down. So let's fold all the seats down. Oops, there we go. That flops down and now the other two. Okay, so the other two, the headrests are up right now. So they're not gonna fold all the way, but basically you just push a button right here and right here. Boom, flops down. Let's put those headrests down, see what it looks like. First, I gotta unlock the door, it's locked still. Press the button on the door handle, and it opens up. There we go. Now, with the uh, valet seating, or easy access seating, the seat actually moves back when you shut the car off. So I'm gonna move it forward real quick, so I can fold this other seat down all the way. All right, so we have about 400 liters of more space versus the uh, the Santa Fe. So if somebody is needing a lot of back space, back seat space, um, trunk cargo space, this is definitely a good option. Uh, let's see if we can lay. Let's do that. Let's do the lay down test and see if we can sleep in this bad boy. All right, let's have a look. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, so my head's not even at the top of the seat back, but my feet are already inside the car. So significantly bigger than the Santa Fe and the, even the Santa Fe XL. 
Now you're probably wondering what's the back seat space like, so let's fold up the back seats. Fold up the back seats, Let, right, let's raise the back seats and give it a shot. Okay, so first I need to fold this seat up so that I can just press the button. I gotta put the phone down for just one second here, guys. Right, there we go. Okay, so cool little system here. It's just one touch. Boom, whole thing slides forwards. Lots of entry space to get through here. Oh yeah. Okay, there we go. Now, here's something really cool. See the button right here? There's seats recline. How cool is that? Third row seats that recline with the push of a button. It's also got two cup holders on each side and a USB port here. Man, this car is amazing. All right, check this out. We've got a little top mounted air vents on off. Here's your ultrasonic sensors that detect whether or not there's passengers or pets in the back of the car. So, all those stories you hear, the unfortunate stories of uh, children or pets being left in the car. You don't have to worry about that with this car because this car will actually set off the alarm uh, if anything is, uh, anyone or anything is left in the car. Oh, this has got a little tag here. I wonder if that's... Oh, I see. Okay. All right, so I figured out what that little red tab is down there on the back of the, uh, the second row seat. When you pull that red tab, it allows you to fold the seat back back up without having to pull this handle here. So it basically does the same as that handle. Um, and then we've also got this button right here, which I haven't tried yet. Oh, okay, so that's the same as this button. All right, so interesting. So that put that in two different spots. Okay, let's jump in and try out. So, oh man, the second row seat. Okay, so second row seat. Yep, that reclines a little bit as well. Got a set center cup holder armrest here. Nice and padded. All right, here's the dual zone, or the, uh, sorry, the single zone rear automatic climate control with rear heated seats. Of course, this being the uh, luxury gets the rear heated seats. The ultimate gets rear heated and ventilated seats. USB port on both of the seats here for the rear passengers. Again, dual cup holders in the doors as well as the cup holders in here. You know, there's an enormous amount of cup holders. We got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13, 14. There's 14, 14 cup holders. A family of eight can have 14 drinks. Oh, hang on, I'm sorry, there's more. There's one right there too. So that means that there are 16. So every single family member can have two drinks. Crazy. All right, retractable sunshades, just like in the Santa Fe. Totally just dropped my phone. That's not cool, but it's not broken, so we're good. All right, so let's go around to driver's side. Let's first close the trunk with this button here. Nice. All right. Two different memory positions for the front driver's seat. Now, it's not only just the seats, it's also the mirrors, and I believe the climate control and also the dashboard lighting. So to start up the car, or foot on the brake, press the engine start stop button. All right, with the engine running, uh, you know what, I'm actually gonna turn off the climate control so that you're not hearing that the whole time. So, um, we first off, I wanna show you a couple cool things here. So we have different drive modes and also different terrain modes. So right now it's on drive mode selection. So if I want, I can put it into comfort mode, eco mode, sport mode, and smart mode. Smart mode will determine how you're driving the vehicle um, and then adjust accordingly. So whether or not it goes into sport mode automatically or eco mode automatically. Um, sport mode will tighten up the steering wheel, but also it'll, um, it'll change the transmission shift points, give you a bit more kick, keeps it in a lower gear longer. Eco mode does the opposite. It makes the vehicle a bit more sluggish, uh, tries to keep you in the highest gear possible. And comfort mode will do that, but also loosen up the steering wheel as well. 
Uh, we do, of course, have ventilated seats, heated seats, heated steering wheel. No, don't need that right now. Um, auto start stop. There's the 360 camera view system. So when you're in drive, you press the view button and the full 360 view comes up. Uh, and there's a lot of actually uh, things that you can do on this screen. Even You can even zoom in and out on the top down view. So that's pretty cool. Got adaptive cruise control, voice recognition for the audio system and for your phones, uh, phone system. Blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert, lane keep assist, lane departure warning system, and lane follow assist. And I'll demonstrate that on the drive. Power e-brake. There's the button for the uh, the trunk lid. Tachometer speedometer. Um, this is actual analog speedometer and analog tachometer uh, with a screen in the center, which is um, controlled with these two buttons here. So you're uh, there's your lane keep assist screen, attention warning system, where the power is going to, coming from, going to. You can even see on this little screen where the steering wheel is at any given time. How cool is that? So as you're turning the steering wheel, it shows you where the wheels are. That is so cool. That's a new one for Hyundai too. Uh, it's also going to show you where the power is going from, uh, or, or going to, sorry, going from, going to, so which wheel uh, is getting power at any given time. So if I put it into drive, let's see here, I'm going to take off the e-brake, let off the accelerator. Let's see if we get some indication of the power here. All right, so I need to give it some gas. There we go. So power's going everywhere. So under acceleration, there is a 50, up to 50-50 power split. Uh, so the reason that it's powering the rear wheels immediately even though we are in, you know, we're not in any terrain mode or anything. The reason it's doing that is because under acceleration, is it's expecting that there's a possibility that the front wheels may slip. So it's transferring power right away. So very, very good system. It's called H-Track. It's designed and engineered right here in Canada by Magna International. Uh, we're very, very proud of uh, Magna International for provi uh, providing us with a spectacular all-wheel drive system. <laughs> Driving the 2020 Palisade is quite an experience. This vehicle is spectacular. It's super quiet on the road. Uh, it's super comfortable. The seat is a nice, soft, cushiony leather. Like the, you know, everything about this car is, is on. Honestly, it's on another level. So. Um, I've just basically driven away from the dealership. I'm going to head back to it now. Um, I'm going to try to jump on the freeway, the highway for a little bit, uh, just so you guys can get a good idea of the noise level in the cabin, which is very, very little. I'm kind of having to lean forward a bit just to hopefully get into the camera's view here. Uh, I don't have the widest angle on this camera. So a couple of really cool things about this car, of course we do have, you know, the typical Hyundai features like heated seats, uh, ventilated seats, heated steering wheel, heated seats in the back, etc. Uh, a new one for Hyundai is the enormously large touchscreen. So this is a 10.2 inch, uh, 2, 3 inch touchscreen. Um, and it's pretty cool. You can actually you can have multiple things on the screen. So right now I have the, the, maps, uh, the map system, uh, which not only does it show me the map, uh, but it also shows me the speed uh, the speed limit on the road here as well. But I can tap this little button here and I can see the stereo screens. If I turn the stereo on, so now it shows me both the map, which is still the same size as like a seven inch screen map, uh, but I've also got my stereo on the right hand side. So that's pretty awesome. Huge buttons here, so very, very easy to find what it is you're looking for. Um, so if I want to switch to, uh, let's see, the setup screen, for instance. Uh, huge button over there. The setup screen is massive. Uh, there is a customizable layout here as well. What I, uh, I'd like to try Android Auto in here, but unfortunately the camera that I'm using to record is my phone, so I can't really demonstrate that. And one of the things that's kind of cool about this vehicle is the ability to use a built-in intercom system to chat with the passengers in the back. 
So you'll have to forgive me, I don't know how to access that off the top of my head. So we'll see how well this car is laid out in such a way that perhaps I can find it while driving, which is probably not the safest thing to do. But you know what? I wouldn't be the first person in that scenario. Aha! Okay. So we got quiet mode. Let's go. Here we go. Driver talk. So now I'm actually able to talk to the passengers in the back. I can hear myself echoing, which is a really bizarre sound. So all of my voice that's going through the microphones uh, is being basically routed to the very back of the vehicle. Let me just hit end. So that's what I love about Hyundai's. I mean, Hyundai's are super easy to figure out. Like it didn't take me long to kind of figure that system out. I've never used it before. This is the first time I've driven this car. Uh, the first time I've played with the infotainment system and yet a brand new feature that, you know, I don't think anybody's really ever seen before in a car. I just figured out in a jiffy, just like that, simple. Hyundai's are nice and easy. Check this out, when you have the turn signal on, you can see your blind spot um, in the little screen there. So it actually shows you what's on your on your side in your blind spot. That's amazing. This car is amazing, guys. Really love this, um, uh, the touch button shift controls. One thing I learned the other day is when you park the vehicle and you, uh, if you forget to actually put it in park, if you've, le you've left it in drive, but you take off your seat belt and open up the driver's door, it actually puts it into park for you. How cool is that? All right, we're going to jump on the freeway here and you can see in the screen now, I hope you guys can get a view of that, uh, that that little camera is coming on. Another cool thing that I've noticed with the, with the main screen, the infotainment screen, um, is that they've actually added some like shadowing, some contrast. It it's, looks a little bit nicer uh, than the previous Hyundai vehicles. Even the, even the brand new Santa Fe doesn't look as nice. Uh, and it's only a year old now. So, so 3.8 3 liter, 200 and 91 uh, horsepower, 262 foot-pounds of torque. This vehicle gets up to speed, no problem at all. All right, so we're now on the freeway. And it is very quiet in here. I mean, I'm sure you can hear the difference because we're going a little bit faster, but it's still super quiet. Now this one also has a couple cool features. It's got the it's got the adaptive cruise, so it'll maintain a distance between you and the car in front of you, but it also has lane follow. Uh, so not just lane keep assist, but lane follow assist. So it's actually going to maintain its position in this lane um, without me putting on the uh, putting my hands on the wheel. So it's it's semi-autonomous driving it's pretty cool all right guys there you have it the 2020 hyundai palisade what a spectacular vehicle what a great ride super comfortable super quiet so many great options um even in the lower trims i mean the the second from the bottom you get remote start already in the preferred trim uh in the base model you get uh you get a ton of features like uh, heated seats uh you get the um the 8-inch screen with uh, backup camera, uh, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, heated steering wheel. So, I mean, they're, they're extremely feature-rich vehicles. I mean, all Hyundais are, but the Palisade is uh, definitely no different. Um, we have, you know, the safety exit, exit assist to prevent uh, children or passengers in the back from opening up the doors uh, when there's cars coming. Um, you know, ultrasonic sensors in, in the higher trim levels, the rear occupancy alert, um, starts right in the base model. However, the rear occupancy alert with the ultrasonic sensors, that starts in the uh, preferred trim, so one trim up from the bottom. All right, so if you have any questions about this or any other Hyundai vehicle or any vehicle on our lot, please don't hesitate to give me a call, 604-795-0836. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll uh, watch more of my videos and hope you'll subscribe. I'm really, really trying to hit that 1,000 subscriber um, Mark so that I can start monetizing these videos. But again, thanks for watching.